Do you use AI to make laser engraved designs for your business? What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've had a request, a wide request. <laughs> We've had a request from a customer who has asked if we could create a, a mountain scene with the road meandering through some hills on an eight and a half by 42 inch board. So it's not that tall, but it's very long. So we did some research and we were like, yeah, oh yeah. I was like, oh, you, yeah. know, you know what we said. I'll just oh, go yeah. find a panoramic view of some mountains with the country road that in That is it. literally what he said. That, how hard could it be? Well, it was hard and we couldn't find it. We couldn't find exactly what we were looking for. So we used AI to create the image that we're gonna use for this customer. And we've been pretty impressed with the results that we had. So we're gonna show you how to use AI to create your own images in your laser craft business. Well, impressed or scared. Step one, we're gonna create our prompt. We need to have a good prompt to feed into our AI image generator. And to do that, we're gonna use AI. We're gonna use ChatGPT. Here we are in ChatGPT. Now a prompt is essentially a request or instructions that tells AI what kind of information or response you're seeking. Over on Patreon, we have a more detailed class on how to use ChatGPT for a small laser craft business. Writing effective ChatGPT prompts using the act as method for laser engraving and cutting involves a few steps to ensure you get the most helpful and targeted responses. This is how we do it. Step one, we choose a role or an expertise. Start your prompt by clearly identifying the role you want ChatGPT to play. In our example, we're gonna say, act as an expert in visual design and laser engraving. We also have to provide our scenario. So we're gonna provide some specific context about the situation. This should include the types of materials you're working with or specific challenges you're facing. So we're going to say, generate a detailed prompt for an AI image generator to create a black and white design that's ideal for laser engraving on wood. Ask specific questions or specific requests for actions. Pose direct questions or scenarios related to your objective. So for our example, we want the image to feature an old winding country road with a field, rolling hills, and mountains in the background. And then you'll also want to include any constraints or limitations. So are there things that you don't want in here or things that you must have in here or it might be challenges. So for ours, we're going to say the final image needs to be suitable for engraving on wood and will need to be a panoramic view or wide aspect ratio. Finally, the final format. ChatGPT can generate content in several formats, from text to code, data analysis and visualization, or even images. So we're going to say, provide a prompt that captures all of these requirements, ensuring the AI generated image will be both beautiful and practical for laser engraving purposes. All right, let's you ready to hit enter and see what this looks like. Let's see what it gives us. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Everything right. in the quotations is my prompt. So I can take this and then use this in the AI image generators but never take a prompt at its face value, read through it, make sure it makes sense, and make any tweaks that you need to. So our prompt says, create a panoramic wide aspect ratio black and white image depicting an old winding country road leading through a picturesque landscape. The road should meander gently through a serene field flanked by rolling hills. In the background, majestic mountains should rise up, adding a sense of grandeur to the scene. The design should be rich in texture and contrast, suitable for laser engraving on wood. Emphasize clear lines and distinct elements that will translate well into engraving 
the engraving medium, ensuring that the final image is both visually appealing and practical for laser engraving. The overall composition should evoke a sense of tranquility and natural beauty ideal for a decorative piece. Whew, that was a mouthful that I don't think I would have been able to come up with. Step two, time to get that image. Now that we have our prompt, we're gonna take that prompt and feed that into a couple of AI image generators. There are a bunch of them out there so you can get different results with different tools. So I thought we'd show you a couple of them. For this step, we're gonna stay right here in ChatGPT because one of the other formats that ChatGPT can produce for you is an image. So what we're going to do is take this prompt that we've created and feed it right back to itself and have it generate an image for us. Let's see what this one looks like. It's amazing what this thing can do in just a matter of seconds, honestly. Yeah, it draws way faster than I can. Okay, here is the black and white panoramic image created per our specification. It depicts an old winding country road leading through a picturesque landscape with a serene field, rolling hills, majestic mountains in the background. Uh, then we got a network error. So we but can just hit refresh, right? That's pretty good. Yeah, we can hit regenerate. But you know what? I want to try this in a couple of other tools. Now over here in Midjourney, Midjourney is a bot or a plugin that works with Discord. Now if you want more information on Midjourney and Discord, you're going to have to go find another video. We are not experts. But what we can do here is generate an image. So we're going to go forward slash. That was a very long slash. Imagine. And then I get a prompt and I'm just going to paste in the prompt that chat GPT gave us and hit enter. Oh, now these images aren't bad. I mean, they look a lot more detailed. These look like almost black and white photos. But they're not at wide, they're not at a wide aspect ratio. Well, I'm gonna do it again. Imagine. Paste that in there. Paste my prompt back in. But at the back end, I'm gonna go dash dash AR aspect ratio. And let's see if it'll do a 5 1 aspect ratio. These look way more sparse. That one's not, that actually, they're not bad. That one's pretty good. I like the fence along the road. What do you think? They're not a uh, five one aspect ratio though. Yeah, too far away. Too I far away. Too far away, you know what I mean? They're yeah, like... so we'll try one more time. Imagine. But we'll just do uh, AR. Oops. Yep, I know. I know. It's hard typing over the phone. I'll paste it in and say dash dash AR three one. All right, not bad. I kind of like this one on the top left. What do you think? That's not bad. Not bad. Not exactly what you're looking for? Well, it's a little like a golf course. Oh, it does look like a <laughs> golf course. I like the one on the bottom left, but maybe... I mean, that one's really not bad at all. I would save that one. All right. Well, let's go try two more tools before we give up. We're gonna try another tool called Ideogram, and we're just gonna paste that same prompt into here. Or we can do aspect ratio over here. Go 1610, generate. I don't think we'll get a wide aspect out of this one. But that's okay, we have a solution for that too. That one's very fast. Yeah, that was way faster than the others. 
Hey, that looks so real. That's crazy. Not bad. It definitely gave us more realistic Those looking are some photos. Those majestic mountains in the back. Yeah, they are. The most majestic. Let's try one more tool. This is Adobe Firefly. I love Adobe products. Yeah. Did we save the best for last? Or? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I'm just going to paste the prompt into this one too and hit generate. Oh, we didn't change the aspect ratio? Or will it only it do let me square? At first. Well, yeah. At first, it'll tell me square. Hey, but these look really good. Wow, look at that one. That one looks cool. It's got a little uncanny valley to it, though. It looks not quite real. But we can change the aspect ratio. So we'll go widescreen. We can say photo or art. I like Adobe Firefly because it gives me a lot more tools and filters that I can use over here on the right. Like, do you want to try it as art or keep it as a photo? Visual mm -hmm. intensity. Let's up the intensity a little bit. Maybe it'll give you a little more detail. All right. And then with that, you can do art or what do you think? I don't really know the difference between art and photo. I don't either. There's a bunch of effects that you can place over top of it. So we can actually make it pointillism, ink that might help, or a sketch, stippling. Yeah. All of these might help with the laser engraving. Let's just uh, keep it simple for this time. And we'll hit generate from here. I changed the aspect ratio and I raised the intensity. This guy didn't get the. <laughs> he didn't get the memo that it was black and white. But these are looking pretty good. Hey, is that the same image? Go back. Just in. No, that. Now no, go back one more. That one. This one and this one. Very close. They're all close to each other. Mm hmm. After hitting refresh in each of the tools a couple of times to see what we got, we tried Adobe Firefly, we tried Ideogram, Midjourney, and ChatGPT's just, uh, we didn't even bother trying it again. <laughs> we ended up liking number four over here in Midjourney. Right, number four? Yes, that's yeah? it. Yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do now is upscale number four. This will make it bigger. And it'll make it so that I can download it. Uh, let's go ahead upscale by four. This will make it even bigger than what it was just on the screen. Looking pretty good. Now we're just going to hit web. Yes, we're gonna trust mid-journey. And we're just gonna download the image. This is part of the image, but we needed it to be way wider. Step three, time to expand that image. We have an image, it's a nice image, but we couldn't find anything with a five one aspect ratio. Yeah, got a AI one. says, we don't know what five to one aspect ratio is. <laughs> said, go kick rocks. Yeah, <laughs> but we have a way to make it five to one using AI. And we're gonna use AI inside Adobe Photoshop. To open our picture in Photoshop, we're going to go to open. It's in our downloads folder. We'll just double click it. I need to get rid of this bar at the top. So I'm going to crop it. And we'll get back to it. Let's get rid of that black bar at the bottom. I'm say done. We're going to go to image, image size. And this thing is huge right now. It's uh, 105 inches wide. Make sure un make sure resampling is unchecked. Now we're gonna go nine inches tall, which will bring our resolution almost up to 300. Okay. All right, now we're nine inches tall, but we're still only at 30 inches wide. So let's zoom out a little bit with my crop tool still checked. I'm gonna drag the sides out a little bit. 
of it. Drag it out until it's 42. We'll just go 43 to give us some of the room. 43. Now I'm going to go to my marquee tool. I'm going to select this white space. I'm going to grab a little bit of this picture too. And I'll hold shift and do the same thing on the opposite side, grabbing a little bit of the picture. Now you see this little generative fill pop up. I'm going to click generative fill. I'm going to leave this blank because I want the program to make the decision on how to fill this. And I'm just going to click generate. What do you think, Kim? Look at that. You can't even tell where the old picture stopped. Let me see the other side again. Yeah, let's go look at the other side. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, look perfect. at that. Perfect. And she wants um, a little saying. So over there on the side of the hill is a perfect place to put that. Oh, great. We're gonna export this as a PNG. Export as PNG. We're gonna leave it at 100%. Export. Let's just rename this. Mountain. Mountain Road. Step four. Time to prep it. Now that we have our nice long image, it's time to prepare it to get ready to engrave. And to do that, we're going to use a website. Here we are in Imager, I-M-A-G-R.com. We're just going to scroll all the way to the bottom, upload our picture. We want a grayscale, mountain road. Once it loads, we'll scroll all the way to the bottom again. We're going to choose our material. And we're gonna use a CO2 laser on wood, okay? Once it refreshes, it'll give you a bunch of things you can do with your image over on the left, but we're just gonna download this thing. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down and hit download. And we're gonna download it as a PNG. Step five, time to engrave it. In the next video, we're gonna show you the best way to engrave this type of image on a nice long board. What did you think about using AI? I was super impressed. I learned a lot. Garrett had to show me some of these things. He's been practicing with Mid Journey and creating those prompts. He's been practicing with the chat GPT. You know, a lot of this information can be found over in our Patreon site. We did a whole class, or one of our patrons actually, conducted a whole class on how to use AI to generate images. We took some of that information, we played with it, we learned a few things, so we thought we'd show you guys. Do you feel like this is something you can use in your business? Did you find this information helpful? There was a lot of information we gave here. Does it feel like something that you can do? Leave us a comment down below and let us know if you like this kind of content so that we can know if we should continue to create some of this digital content for you. Or you just want to see us laser engrave some things. <laughs> Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. And that is the best way to support this channel. Join us over on Patreon where we now have a new Discord server. We have a super secret Facebook group. You get all of the SVGs in our store and that we use in our videos. Our monthly Zoom calls. Monthly Zoom calls, after shows, just a ton of things out there. And I am about out of time. I gotta go prep this board for some laser engraving. You gotta go do something else. And we will see you next video where we're actually gonna engrave this thing.